What's up guys, Matt here, MixTheMasterMySong.com. Today we're going to continue the series we've been doing of mastering a song, the same song, with different plugin brands. Uh, in today's video, we'll be using Slate plugins. Before we get started, make sure to like and subscribe, and let's go. All right, guys, so if you've watched any of these series, you'll know that we are working on my buddy Cam Meekin's song, Say Something. Uh, before we get started, I'll play the song for a few seconds, and then I'll go over the process of what we're going to work on. Here we go. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. I me, mean, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. So there you go, you get a gist of it. We'll be listening to it more. Um, just, to, just to break down the process of what I'm gonna do before we actually get into it, I like to always talk about the process before I do the process. That way I know where I'm going. Um, way I hear this song, it sounds pretty good. I just wanna give it a little more energy. It, it, it feels a little like, maybe a little too muddy, but just some presence and energy harmonics will give it a little more push to make the vocal pop out of the, the uh, speakers a bit more. And just give me like a little more head nod when it's happening. And other than that, that's about it. It's just got a little bit of mud and it needs a little more brightness to kind of push it through. Um, and that will fix it up. So what we're going to do, and this is my process on any master. First, I'm going to clean up. We're going to clean up with this Inf EQ, Infinity EQ. Then add a little bit of fresh air if it's needed. Um, the next ones I got to play with, I haven't set up, I haven't gone through them yet. Is, is maybe some parallel compression because this is already compressed pretty well. But I don't. Um, I feel like some parallel compression might bring the vocals up without killing our dyna dynamics too much. Um, can, plus, we're going to put the, the, the tape emulation on after, which will also control dynamics a bit too and add some harmonics. Um, final, this will be our, our kind of our brightness EQ to kind of pull everything together. And then lastly, we use the Slate uh, Virtual Mastering Console for our overall loudness and maybe get a little more transients because this thing's really great at doing that. So let's get started first with the Infinity EQ. And I already have a little bump there, but I'm gonna pull it back so you can see how I got there. And what I like to do when I'm trying to make sure there's no kind of resonance or frequency sticking out is I'll sweep through uh, with a tight cue and, and, and put the headphone thing on. And uh, here where I'm, frequencies might be popping out a bit. So let's go through and do that now. Elevators be gone. People rather have a million than a million friends. So you might have heard it, it kind of goes, ooh, <laughs> it's not an attractive sound. So we'll just bring that area down, I don't know where we're at, uh, 300 hertz 317 hertz and notice i didn't look at frequencies i just listened i wasn't looking at the spectrum i wasn't thinking about oh we're at 300 hertz that's a good part to bring down i was just listening for where that resonant might have been so in all mastering you don't want to do too much because you know taking more than a db down or a db and a half is already a lot kind of um can kind of kill the master the mix the way it was sent over so we don't want to do that uh, in this case, I was the mix engineer, and I don't want to step on my own feet. So let's just listen to this and bypass it and see what we got, see what it did. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. I me, mean, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes creep, but the roads on me? I'm in the cold the next week. Then I'm living with this purpose. Yeah, hey. I just do it for the art. I do it for the soul. Think about the future for us, hoping we can grow. That's more, I think, where it was for me. So we just turned it up a bit, and that's about all it needs for the for the Infinity EQ for right now. Uh, next is Fresh Air. This is pretty new to me. I've been using the mid a bit. More so, I've been using this on vocals, but sometimes it works on a master. So we're gonna give it a shot and see what it does. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week. Speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with this purpose. 
Yeah, Ay. I just do it for the art, I do it for the soul. Think about the future for us, hoping we can grow. Say so, say so, say so. Okay, so that's just beginning. What we want to do is say everything in very small stages. So you saw when I cranked it up, it might have sounded better, but it might be too much and changing too much from what the mixer was intending and the artist was intending. So we're doing light moves and we're going to give it a little more of a boost with the air EQ. But in mastering, a lot of times it's small moves with a couple different processors will get us to the finish line. So that's what we're going to do enough for fresh air. Next, we talked about doing some parallel compression. Uh, so we're going to try this out. I usually start off with this glue preset and that will just kind of get me started on what I want to do. And then I'm going to, we're going to slam it, get our release. So it's not like really a fast release. We kind of want a, a steady release for this. And then we'll bring our mix down and see what that does for us. So let's check it out. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the best. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week. Speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with this purpose. Yeah. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week. Speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with this purpose. Yeah. Okay, cool. So you notice that that's bringing us a little more energy, a little more what we were talking about, getting that vocal forward. It's pulling it, you know, giving us some energy, really, and excitement. And that's what we were looking for to do with this master. So that's doing a lot. And look, we're only at 27% on the mix. So we're still retaining the same dynamics that we're given, but giving it a little more tightness, a little more punch and um, forwardness of the vocal. Next, we're gonna use this VTM, and we're gonna see what this can do. I have a starting point called, or no, that's a different point, I gotta get a starting point. I usually start with going to settings and turning this noise reduction all the way down. It's just something I like to do. I don't want any hiss or anything happening. Um, so, and we use the half inch and switch back and forth between the 456 and the and the G9, um, depending on what it does for the sounds. 30 ifs or 15 ifs, that can change too for the master. I think we'll stay with 15. Um, and then switch to 30 and just take a listen to what these two do. That's really the difference for me. So let's check it out. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week. Speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with this purpose. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week. Speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with. All right, so that's where we're going to end up. Um, sometimes you can lose a little clarity with 15 ips versus 30 ips. So we're going to stick with 30 on this instant. It can also give you more warmth, but that's really not what we're looking for for this master. And part of me almost wants to just take this plug-in off together, but I like the, the low-end girth I'm getting from it, and I can bring that back in the air EQ. So we're going to leave that there, bring up the air EQ, and this is... a uh, an amazing plugin and I use presets on this that are given. I use this a lot for vocals and I'll go to um, instrument and the vocal balance and I use it for mastering a lot of times the correction or, or the balance depending. Um, and it kind of gives you a great starting point and a lot of the frequencies that are already set up for it are really good for giving you what they want and the names they have for them are good names. You can tweak it as you go but a lot of times just I use this for this presence here and sometimes for the bass. And, and maybe a few of the clarity, but but that's basically what I use it for and it, it, it works. So if it's not broke, don't fix it, right? So let's bring this up and see what we can get out of it. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week. Speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember. 
So this Airy Q once again did exactly what we wanted. I wanted to get some of that presence out uh, and bring back some of the presence we might have lost with the VTM, and it did all that. And look, we're just, I mean, we're talking not even a dB, and it makes it makes a huge change. I mean, you could hear it when I bypassed it. So before we do the final step and get our loudness going, um, I'm going to bypass everything and turn it on and off so you guys can hear what we've done so far. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week, speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with this purpose. Yeah. Hey. I just do it for the art, I do it for the soul. Think about the future for us. Okay, so I'll do that sometimes. Once I get kind of my EQs and what I'm using together, bypass everything, see what I'm doing right or wrong, what's fixing, what's helping the song. I felt like we were pushing that mid-range a little bit too much, and it was just kind of getting a little, little funky there. So we brought down that fresh air. So finally, let's bring out our Slate Digital uh, Virtual Mastering Console. So this is where I have my preset. I have this M8 Start, and you notice, turn it on, and everything basically goes off. Um, no compressor. I use this only for the FG level, and we can leave this on if we want for the meters. I usually use my clarity when I'm using meters, but this thing is really cool. You can see how it changed from the factory default here um, to MH start here, and this stuff right here, these guys, and these guys are where the money is in this plugin. Um, your gain will get you to your level, but you can change this to shape how much the harmonics affect the peaks on it. This will give you a little more dynamic perception, is what they call it, and it actually kind of works. And these are for your transients, which you can lose a lot when you're getting louder. Um, a lot of times when people mix, they, they have a great sounding song, and then they put the limiter to make it as loud as other songs, and you lose all your transients your, and your mix dies. Um, this thing's really good at helping bring some of that back sometimes. So let's check it out and see what we get out of here. Elevators be gone. Some people rather have a million than a million friends. Some people rather have a Prius than be pushing the Benz. And me, I'd rather get money than get drinks with some friends. I spent some time in Hollywood, but I don't be in this mess. How come a lot of dudes preach, but the roles on lease? I'm in the cold to next week, speed towns on freeze. And when I wonder when it's worth it, try and remember that I'm living with this purpose. Yeah. Hey. I just do it for the art, I do it for the soul Think about the future for us, hoping we can grow Say so, say so, say so I always knew it from the start, I gotta let them know I got you on whatever, I just hope that we can grow yeah. Say so, say so, say so Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace to Mac Miller, he inspired the shit Okay, and that gets it as, at a pretty good level, negative end uh, negative eight RMS or love somewhere uh, right around negative nine. Um, and that's good for now. We don't need to get super loud anymore. You can stream stuff and, you know, get more, keep more dynamics in your masters. So as you can see, I also clicked this and what that does is that just turns all the level down so that it's equal to what you're turning up because obviously louder sounds better. Um, you can get that. That's really great for dialing this stuff in. In this master, we don't necessarily need it. We didn't need it do anything crazy to get louder. Sometimes when guys have used a two-track beat where, you know, the producer turned the kick up to infinity and 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 that's all you got is the two-track beat, that's when this stuff can become helpful because you're going to have to squash the master to get the loudness because you haven't had the separated stems in the mix. So this could be helpful for this. This is a pretty good mix. <laughs> Patting myself on the back. I mean, it's balanced well and it all kind of works out. I don't have to boost the levels too much or do anything kind of crazy to keep my transients. So that's that. Hopefully it was helpful for you guys. Um, Slate has a great set of plugins that you can do a really good master on. Um, just even the Air EQ and the Slate Virtual Mastering Console can, can kind of get you there uh, with, with all kinds of stuff. So let me know what you guys think. What are you using for your masters? Do you use some of the Slate stuff? Leave them in the comments below. If you need your song mixed or mastered, hit me up at mixedandmastermysong.com. You can also check out my presets and courses there too. Talk to you soon.